and welcome back guys so how's everyone doing so I'm a little pissed off right now <laughs> so why would I be pissed off well so I'm going over here I get the copper I need to make the power plant right so I'm like, oh, I'll just go up this right here. It's about 25 minutes walk up here. And I'll go and load up the broadcast tape. And I, you know, won't waste the guy's time. And we'll go back to the camp and we'll fire up the antenna. All right. So I get up to the base of the tower. I'm about like here. Internet goes out. Doesn't say why. It just goes out. We're all assuming that it's maintenance. All right. What the fuck? So I'm sitting there for 30 minutes waiting for the internet to come back on. And this is one of the points that I pointed out here of why the way they did it was a bad way to do it. Because when they decide to stop maintaining the Fallout 76 servers, we're all screwed for anyone that's bought Fallout 76 because you bought the user interface. You didn't buy the game itself. You may have the game files to run it through the server to connect to the server but in the end when you don't have internet you can't play Fallout 76 period but Fallout 4 you can because that's physically on your hard drive anyways you get the general understanding of a little piss all right so my internet comes back on I sit there for another 35 minutes fighting with the user interface to get this working on computer. I sit there and disable Steam inputs. I sit there and load up Fallout 76 again. Alrighty. Still not going to work. Alright. Load up default settings. Load it up again. Still not working. Alright. Let's enable Steam inputs. Load it up again. Oh, it's decided to shit again start pulling out my keyboard USB like the whole point of logging into a game is to sit there relax and not have to worry about going through all this bullshit <laughs> I mean Fallout 4 yeah it had its problems you would still have to pull out your USB for your keyboard out once in a while but the amount of hoops I just had to go through just to get this shit working no wonder it got bad reviews. <laughs> like, the gameplay is alright. It's a little difficult in certain spots. But the hoops that we have to hop through on PC here is stupid. Anyways. <laughs> so, we're going to go up here. I'm going to go up here and load this holotape. We're going to go back to the camp. I'm a little nervous because there's someone hanging out here. There's a person hanging out over here. I want to see what that is. I think it's a vault. Um, yeah, and apparently someone has an uh, apparently is an unclaimed camp down there. So, anyways, now you know why I'm kind of in a pissy mood at the moment. <laughs> something's gotta give. Something's gotta give. But yeah, currently working on grinding me some levels. Trying to get to level 20 so we can continue with Overseer's Quest. Uh, anytime you see me just take a break from Fallout 76, it's going to be where I just get tired of dealing with the user interface problems. If I can't get it working after 35 minutes, I'm just going to walk away, go play something else, because this... I ain't gonna sit there for an hour and a half trying to get a game working. It defines the point of playing that game. I'm pretty sure you would have more people playing your game if your user interface wasn't so screwed up for PC. <laughs> I get it, this is not a problem for all users, but the point is... If a lot of the PC users are having this problem, why haven't you fixed it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trying to rant or anything like that. I'm not trying to do drama or anything. I'm just physically pointing out a point here. I'm just like, yeah, I want to play this. <laughs> this broken ass interface. 
I'm playing it right now. So annoying. Okay, you can fuck off with the event quest. So as you can see, currently walking my ass up this hill again. So that's a that's a quest over there that I already did. So everything anywhere in the map has responded for me. Meaning I could go into that village over there, go grab me health care stuff right now if I wanted to, and I'd be set. I realize I don't have to go and buy stuff if I don't want to. If I'm in a pinch, yeah, you should probably go get health stuff, but I can just spawn back into the server, go over to that church. There's a bunch of health care stuff in there. A bunch of stem packs and red axe and all that stuff. So it's like, hmm, why buy that if I can just do that? Tend to force my ass, you ain't harvesting me. Um, I don't know. Supposedly you can have people, like allies, live in your compound. I just haven't seen it yet. Um, but from what I've witnessed so far and the research I've done, Apparently people, if they want to be a dick, they can sit there and shoot up your base. If they want to be a dick, they can... Uh, what's that word? Uh, they can steal your stuff, but... My plan for that is... Eh, we have intestinal lining. Eh, with the other ones. Eh. Just look at me like that is some nasty shit. Eh. So yeah, this is what I was doing at the time. I'm just working my way up this mountain. Takes forever. As literally I could see the real this tower. Highway is under the protection of the responder. So, I'm sitting there, I see the tower, I can see the base of it, and then I get the error of, I think it was 743, meaning disconnected from server. I'm looking around like, what the fuck? I'm trying to reconnect. I look over, my modem has the yellow light on, meaning it has no internet. I'm like, really? But yeah, tonight probably going to be the last video for tonight. I got to go and do appointments. I got to get some decent sleep done. So I've been in a cute place to set up a uh, temp base. If that was an asshole house. Uh, my opinion regarding Fallout 75 or 76, keep saying that wrong. My opinion, they should have put a PVE mode, player versus environment, where they don't have to worry about someone stealing their shit. That's what I think they should have done. Where are you going? I only shot you in the ass. <laughs> Notice me, senpai. Ow! Okay, you've noticed me too much now. Hold on, hurry.
shoot him in the crotch. Oh my goodness. I notice if you shoot certain enemies in the crotch, they go down fast compared to headshots. What a pick style. Looking for the basic essentials. We got some boiled water here. I think the idea that I originally had in the other video of me mixing up between me playing this game and another, not a bad idea. It's, only, it's gonna be one of these days I get really pissed off and just go like, mm, no, I don't feel like playing this time. I can see why people get pissed now. I'm pretty sure it works fine on PS5 and Xbox Series X and that stuff, but in PC it's buggy. Why am I loading into here? Load into active. Load broadcast tape into Rave Tower and activate the connection. While well, I'm here, and I don't know how to do that. Gotta go figure this out.
Alrighty, took a hot minute to figure out. Message uploaded. Initiating broadcast pulse. Attention, all consumers. New business established. Please seek out Craig Treasure Hunting Incorporated to exchange goods and services. Initiate tagline. Follow the sign to Fortune. Broadcast complete. All right, let's see how royally screwed over I get. Yeah, we completed the quest. going on here whoa whoa I'm not with any gang crane has just been MIA for a while I was hoping to check in with him you know where he is Wayward, huh? It might be I pay the place a visit. Appreciate the tip, not Crane. Good luck out here. Duchess at the Wayward. I'll pay them a visit. Thanks again. Crane? Hmm. Quite the setup you got here. So, rumor is you've got information our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. Scout's honor. Hmm. Sure. Fine, fine. We, we took over the old West Virginia Lumber Company in the Northwest. So that's why people Come are hanging on. out there. Let's get out of here. Thinking about going in and killing them all. I really am. I know, you're looking at me, you're terrible. Oh. See the walls damage over here too. I like my idea of... I like my idea of... Uh, what's that word?
I'll definitely move bail locations tonight so that this stuff is not put down and it's safe. But that's pretty much how I'm going to keep the loot safe. It's just by pulling up my camp and... Oh man, I'm overcumbered with what? I'm pretty sure that's what everyone's doing right now in order to keep their stuff safe is they'll move their camp and seeing all their stuff is tied up in this as far as I can tell you can't interact with this in anyone's face you can interact with this my stash but you can only access stuff that you have as far as I can tell so I don't know if that's 100% or what but that's from what I can tell That's the last video tonight. I'm going to bed after this. Because originally I'm supposed to go to bed after this last one, but I'm like, eh, I'll push myself a little farther. If you're going to play Fallout 76, you definitely need to protect your stuff. Because that stuff that you collect, slash make, can be used to make good stuff. Like guns and shit, so and better armor and stuff like that. So I was told by friends that they found a server they were on. Everyone treats you pretty good. using damn Try to make sure I have enough. I should have done that, but eh, it's whatever. 
Doing our current stem packs, the stems do way have a weight to them. Give me those circuit points. Alrighty. I realize I get um, fused in cells just by shooting the robots. So, I'm like, eh. Ah, crap. I didn't do the other quest I was supposed to do while I was in there. Tired. Ready to sleep. <laughs> Look at me like, the fuck? Yeah. Actually uploading a video right now as we speak. Part 9, I believe, is uploading. Well, you don't look too worse for wear. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding. Fantastic. So that's where their boss will be. You just need to... Wait, wait, West Virginia lumber? <laughs> that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why, exactly? Was wandering up that way not too far back. The lumber company? That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. You've seen those Frankensteins. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, Duchess, these guys might be tougher than advertised. Hmm. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing, unless you got some big guns. Could try and luck your way inside, maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. There was also this, uh, let's say, special scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. Thinking and multitasking in the background, saying we're stuck in dialogue. Always doing something. You'll find them at Anchor Farm if these thugs haven't already run them off. But if they are still there, well, they probably managed to work something out with them. Hey, it couldn't hurt to find out what it was. Okay. It's got a good point found him living in the stalls at Tyler County Fairground. Guy kept claiming he knew the best way to run the mutants out of the mill. But, listen, I couldn't get him to spill how. Probably have a better chance he'll share what he learned with someone who still has an entire face. Well, that's a good thing, because that's all I've got. If you haven't already explored up that way, the fastest route back would be via Vault 76 and trekking north from there. And take care of yourself, all right? You're doing us a big one here. Kill the gang leader. Why did I think of that? <laughs> all right. I gotta limit the amount of quests we got up here because it is slowly ripping this thing apart. Okay. Turn that off for now. Enter for hire.
craft if I want. So that explains why they're up there by my little camp. They were doing this mission. Still haven't figured out how to do the favorite stuff yet. Um, I will get the hint that we'll be playing a game that me and my family played a very long time back. And guess what? That game is still alive and kicking. It's $71 for a year membership. So yes, you still have to pay money to physically access everything, but it's worth it. Alrighty, what the hell am I doing here? As my wire lungs getting kind of low. So the goal right now is to make sure I have plenty of... Oh boy, let me just deal with this real quick. So, alrighty, that was doable. Responded yet? <sighs> On the road again. I thought I heard something. <laughs> oh, do you want to shoot me? Hi. Who is the asshole? You. Oops, that's not what I wanted to take. That wire level's very low. Let's uh, do something about it. Purified water. 
There you go, much better. I like to try to keep as much as I can regarding like the most damage and that I just like using that stuff first. It something's only doing ten damage and it does like rapid reload, then I'll use it. But if it's something that takes one shot at a time and you're doing sixty damage each time you take one shot, it's worth it. That's all you have. Is this? It's a bee swarm, the fuck? Never had those. That's a new mob. Does not seem very promising. Now the creature was stirring. There's no one here. I'll be taking that though. Not supposed to talk to people like you. Oh, so rude. Plenty of unclaimed space up the road. Maybe you should give it a visit. West Virginia, no. Don't know anything about them. Now I'd like you to leave. You'll go. Fine. We worked out a deal. Supplies for protection. What do you need to know to leave? Plenty. A dozen, minimal. They don't let us in the main building, so I can't say how many were camped out in there. Once a month. Food, ammo, scrap. Murray and me take it up to the mill ourselves. Gave us a password to get in. Blue Danube. Bunch of cons from back east. They're not crazy though. Not like the Blood Eagles or the Scorch say. You can reason with them. They don't know how to farm or hunt. We do. So we worked out a deal. You have something you can offer them, you probably can too. You, you do that. Maybe I can see having a little something set aside for you. One Let's time. play through, I'm gonna kill raiders. <laughs> then by all means, Beat it. That'd be awesome. Unless there's to have them else. give me the resources. Hmm. Just like everyone else, except we like our privacy. <sighs> Treasure, nothing but trouble. We'd hope to start new lives here, private ones. <laughs> Bye. So let's take that off your hands. You're not going to need it. So we 
grab anything useful. Just don't mind me, to not just taking stuff. Now uh, this quest seems to be a little more friendly regarding new players, so it just needs a little more direction. It'll work out fine, but you get the idea. I think they planned it so that you have to look around. You can't just jump on a quest and think it's just gonna go point you in the right direction. That's pretty much how I felt when I first entered Fallout 76. I was a little lost. I'm like, okay, I'll just follow the Overseer's quest, and I noticed things getting really difficult. Oh, look, there's a, uh, you know, level cap of, hey, you need to be level 20 to continue this quest. Otherwise, it's not going to unlock anything anymore. I'm just like, well, shit. Hey, it's a raider. You could say still, so I can do this. Hell no, you're dead. Ow. Why are you even trying? Not intentional. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab the stuff and go. <laughs> he seems to be a lot harder to kill than normal. Okay, could, could I get in here already? Like, seriously, we don't need to be choking on cock while we're here. That's one thing I don't like playing server size is the desyncing problem or you lose internet connectivity and you can't play it like it, that's why i never played destiny or destiny 2 like i played destiny 1 for a little bit but then i'm like wait a minute this is server base what's the point of playing something that's server base if you lose internet connection or you can't physically get an internet connection Yes, you're hidden so well in behind there. Y you see the point, right? It's kind of like, what is the point? Damn! I think he lost his head. So the music here is copyright. Unfortunately, can't turn it off.
I will say some of the music choices were good. That was a good song back there. Uh, that moment that the servant of the sister going doy. <laughs> That was a fun moment and when you're playing matchmaking on Halo 3 in the old days and the server just goes doy for a second and sits there lags like just the angry lag for a second and just look us over like really I bought it for this crappy ass connection <laughs> it reminds me of the old days where you have that sudden desync you look over like really dude <laughs> not cool or you'd be playing Minecraft in the old days when everyone thought it was cool. You'd be like, yeah, this is the way to live. And there's too many villagers. That's a scorched person. I'm seeing zombie remains all over the place. Where are you going? If you stay still, I can pop your head. Hi, where are you going? It's going to be a no. to be true bone cutter IV bag uh -oh. that was nice Might I all take this off your hands? Hmm. Puzzle time! Oh no, I broke the bobby hand, no! Okay, so let's go this way. You got too much junk? No! Need that stuff. Need this. We got too much junk. There we go. Zombie creeping. I don't know where the one thing I said earlier came out of where I said choking on a cock or something like that. I don't know where the hell that came from. I'm sitting there like, why the hell did I say that? Pretty much. Trying to think what my mind what my mind was thinking at that moment. 
I don't think it was. Sorry if that offended anyone. Hopefully it didn't. Uh, sometimes the mind can say a lot of terrible things, not realizing the implications that it could cause. Just take it there, please. I think I got you out the back! Down he goes. Here he comes. Pop goes the whistle. Probably since no first aid kit back here. me but jokes on you don't get nothing ah uh, you talk to the well done guy huh well yeah I got a little trick up my sleeve could kill them all if I wanted but I'm not just giving it away you gotta get me something Island nearby has got a big nest in it. Bring me an egg? I'll give you what I got. Something nasty enough that I don't want to do it? Up to you, though. Oh no, Deathclaw Island. Government issued astral transporter. Snagged it on my way out of the lab. Takes your physical form? Drops it right into the astral plane. Makes you nearly invisible. Makes it a whole lot easier to take folks out of this world at the same time. Makes you invisible, not agile. I can't run so good since I escaped from the government. Mind the locals? Definitely gotta come back here. I say it's circuit bound. Like military carry aid circuit bound over there. Man. Got some okay good stuff up here. Guess where I gotta go? Right there. So I'm gonna go deeper real quick. 
I really hope this guy is not going for my base. I'm gonna run in there, grab the egg, run away. <laughs> it's probably not gonna work that way though. I'm gonna try. I don't see a death club, but it doesn't mean there isn't one. Ready just in case. Probably just wasted stuff, but about water burns today. I'm trying to live. Eh. Really suck, by the way. <laughs> so this does 76 damage. Do I have anything else that does more? No. No, I don't. Now it's hiding on the other side where I can't see it. Really? Like you can't go that way. I want to go over there.
probably gonna make me do an animation to try to see where it went. I think I'm better off just... Ow. Okay, I'm leaving. Fuck off. I can't be stuck there. Stay right there for I do love it. We find a bug in the game, we can take advantage of it like this. Game goes doy. And your game testers go, oh, we didn't find that. Act like they didn't find it. No, oh, you found it. And you said, Hmm, I'll use that later when I play the game. That's what most game testers do. They won't report that there's a problem. Even though they're being paid. To check for problems. If it's something they can use later on, they will. Which is how it is. A little pigment picnic that we're on till the nuke landed. Then all hell broke loose. Hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna finish this quest up here. Uh, I think it's best that I finish the quest, period, and then go to bed, but yeah. Anyways, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.